Shouldn't have defended the old man. He'll come talking again. What? The old man talks and talks. Gives me a headache. I'll stone him next time. Best not annoy him. He's a powerful alchemist. Uh, Captain said only admit those with passes. I know. Moving me to Millgate tomorrow. That's where I'll stand. You have the pass. Look for me there. Uh-huh. I got rid of the ghouls in the crypt. A hundred thanks. Here's a month's pay. <laughs> the boys will be happy. They plan to search for treasure. Take a pick to the walls. I found a young woman's body inside. The ghouls came for her. Ilsa? No! I loved her very much. It appears she poisoned herself. No! That vile witch poisoned my Ilsa! No! I'm sorry for your loss, but I need to know about Salamandra. They have passes, they do. Leave me be. Be gone. Don't forget. Tell the Reverend I got rid of those ghouls. Farewell. Not letting me in? The Oxenfurt Inventors Club surely bribed them. What brings you here? They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? Relax. Pay first. I need that blood for my research! Alright, I really hope Audacity doesn't crash again this time. I just finished the voiceovers for this. And the program crashed and the files didn't save and I don't know how to recover them. Ugh, that's a pain because this is a long video. <laughs> But at least there's not much to say in like in the case of strategy or anything. I mean the only strategy is that you have to go kill Osrael, I believe it's called. Uh he's the first of what I call trophy monsters in this game because you literally bring his head as a trophy to some to the Royal Huntsman and he pays you for it. There are two in each chapter, and always kill them in every chapter. You will get a very good reward at the in sometime in chapter five when you kill the tenth. Now you can only kill one at a time, or well, you can kill both, but it is very, it's highly unrecommended because you can only carry one of the heads at one time. Because Geralt only has one uh, hook on his belt for uh, the heads of his enemies, so like don't like ki when you kill Orzel, don't go looking for the next monster immediately. Go turn it in, get your reward and your experience points, and then you can start looking for the other one if you're actually up to the challenge. Now these monsters are much more difficult than. Uh, say these ghouls right now that I'm killing. In fact, the trophy monsters sorry, are always bigger, badder versions of what you're trying to kill. So this one's a, a big, like a bigger ghoul. The next one is a bigger drowner, for example. And the third, the third and fourth in chapter two are a giant cockatrice, as well as a giant. Uh, plant monster similar to the arch spore or echinopsae whichever one I fought in Odo's garden but uh, for this first one you're going to want to get that instant kill so when you fight him just click the right mouse button and but so don't hold it down and charge the spell you tend to just knock him over when you do that and you can't get the fatality when you do it you just have to click Click it once, not not holding it, and he should get stunned. If not, try again when he gets back up. And if that doesn't work, you're going to have a long fight because you'll see he almost kills me in like two or three hits. He's a very strong monster. And oh yeah, whenever you see a wall that looks like it's kind of falling apart like that was, and you can clearly see on your map that there's a room behind it. Use the Ard spell, you can actually knock it over. 
I think there might be one instance where there's roots and you have to use the uh, Igni spell, which is the fire spell. But I, I don't think that that actually happened. I might just be mistaken because the Ard spell is the only mandatory spell in the game. All the others are completely optional. I mean, I could have not found the Igni spell at all and just never used it until... Oh, never, because that's I think that's the only place where you can actually find it. But I'm pretty much going to go for everything in this game, so... Well, that's one thing I probably should explain about when you level up your characters. Your character, sorry. Is that you cannot max out everything. The game was not made to do it. I don't... I don't think it's even possible. I've never tried to max out my character. I don't really want to. It gets... You get uh, most things at a very high level. Where you probably won't want to go any farther with it. So, I mean, like, most of the uh, stats, like the strength and dexterity, they're on, like, I'm in... I filled up most of the last row by the time the game ends. As well as the steel and the, the different sword styles, like they're all like done the silver, they're all done up to the silver sections of their skill trees, and the spells are almost done up to the bronze uh, skill trees because I don't use the spells very much, and I just start putting in bronze talents into the spell section just just to use them. I mean, putting in a talent to something is always useful. It's not like you have any useless abilities in this game. It's just you need to know what you're doing with the abilities that you're putting the points into. Into. So if you put a lot of points into uh, strong style, and you and you use fast style mostly, you're gonna run into some problems. But yeah, right there, I tried to hold the mouse button and see, I'm almost dead there. So I got really lucky with that, and I used a swallow. No, I don't have a Swallow Potion going before I fought him. Huh. Well, at least I saved. And when you open that chest, pick up that red piece of Meteorite. If you pick up three of them, you can go and uh, pay to upgrade your sword to do plus 60 damage. I only use the red Meteorite upgrade, but there's also yellow and blue. Blue causes more status effects, I believe or like it doesn't upgrade strength like the like the sheer damage it'll do it upgrades something else and the yellow is kind of in the middle I only use the red one because I like just doing a lot of damage straightforward it's much I found it at least easier the first time and a half or so I played through this game I killed the beast from the crypt what the unlike any ghoul I've seen here, 200 orins. Farewell.